today's world we see young people with full of enthusiasm. But remember, don't get into the trap of glamour. That is a vicious circle. People look at the advertisement, people look at certain characters, maybe the filmy characters, and they want to imitate. It is important to imitate the right characters so that you may grow in life. In order to grow in life, in order to develop yourself, in order to use your energy to the optimum, when there is an opportunity for you, get into entrepreneurship. The entrepreneurship will take the maximum energy from you and will make you innovative, creative, a contributor. Working in one industry or maybe to the government, wherever it is, you are a contributor, but only for eight hours. As an entrepreneur, you are contributing 24-7. You are a contributor to the society, contributor to your family, contributing your energy and your innovativeness to the world and you become a consistent contributor not only a contributor a consistent contributor I think that is what is required today with the young people to become a consistent contributor don't hold back your energies don't hold back your life perspectives don't hold back whatever that you want to do develop your uh, energies give to the society so that is a very important aspect so then you grow so you develop be a consistent contributor towards your family, towards the society. There is plenty of ideas in oneself. Those who deal with the human being, they say, we use only not even 10 to 15 percent of our brain power. Even the genius users, they say 15 percent of brain power. All other power that is there, that God-given gift, is latent. They are lying. What you can do, strengthen yourself from within, saying that you can, and definitely you can build yourself with the sufficient knowledge and sufficient know-how and plunge into becoming an entrepreneur. The entrepreneurship is a very important thing for today's world, for to develop our country, develop our families, develop this society. We need entrepreneurship so that your innovative ideas will come into play at the same time you will be creating jobs, not only creating jobs, you will be creating wealth. I think that is a very important thing. The one who is working on any capacity also creates wealth, but it is limited to that extent. As an entrepreneur, as a person who wants to have this consistent contribution to the society, the sky is the limit. You can think, you can grow, grow slowly. You know, today's world, one problem is everybody wants to grow in high speed. There is nothing called slow growth. Everybody thinks that I must jump from the bottom rung of the ladder to the top. No, it is not possible. When you do that, you may get into problem. So climb the ladder rung by rung, you know, the step by step. I think that will give you a real consistency, a real strength, and you will make a roadmap for yourself. That is the most important thing. Rather than just to see the end, or oh, I want to amass wealth quickly, there is nothing called shortcuts in life. And especially when you are an entrepreneur, there is nothing called shortcuts. Maybe shortcuts will lead you to disaster. Important thing that we need to remember is there is no shortcuts in life. There is a consistent roadmap you need to have. And you need to walk the way, you know, step by step towards success. And if you want to take a shortcut, maybe you are entering into a corrupt way. And that is the virus that will kill you. That is a virus that will make your entire entrepreneurship collapse. Therefore, don't think about any corrupt ways to amass wealth in order to have a quick success. And your entire lifestyle will collapse and it will have a quick end. Therefore, don't go into quick things, but go into a solid planning and plan well so that you have a beautiful success in life. So they say, you know, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So that make uh, your plans perfect. Discuss with people, those who are successful entrepreneurs, study, read books, make yourself equipped to face the challenges. Have a right company to support you, uh, to give you consultation. There are plenty of people around. Only thing is we need to open our eyes and ask and ask and you shall receive. There are so many people are ready to help. Sometimes a person feels egoistic and doesn't want to discuss maybe, doesn't want to share, doesn't want to take new ideas. No. So make yourself, plan yourself so that when you plan well, you bound to succeed. So plan and if you fail to plan, 
you plan to fail. Make your plans perfect and go ahead. If you are down, that's the, you must, the success is how many times you will rise up and walk the walk. That is very important. You must walk the walk. You may find many hurdles. That is the challenge that each young person has to take for himself and utilize his energies and his brain power to face the challenges. Oh.